What's going on guys? So as you can see in front of me, my Dyson vacuum cleaner recently died out on me and I did not want to spend a fortune on getting another Dyson vacuum cleaner. So what I did was I found this cordless vacuum cleaner right here. It is very similar to the Dyson vacuum cleaner, but for a much more affordable price and I do not have to break my wallet. So this is the cordless vacuum cleaner six in one from a company called Toppin. And what's cool is at the time of this video right here, this cordless vacuum cleaner has a five five star rating on Amazon. I will leave the link to it in the description box down below so you can feel free to click it and check out more details there. All right, so there's the box shipped and delivered to us with everything that was inside. When you first open the box, the first thing you are going to see is this envelope right here. And inside of this envelope, you are going to see several things. First of all, it's a thank you cord, a quick story guide along with the user manual, a power cord used to recharge a vacuum, two in one brush, a extension crevice tool used to clean small and hard to reach areas, a wall hanger along with all the screws needed to actually mount this onto your wall. That way you can conveniently hang your vacuum cleaner on here while the vacuum cleaner is being recharged. The main motorized brush row and this does have a 35 millimeter wide row down here. So the wider the row, the less issue and problem you will have with hair being tangled down here, especially if you're a female like my wife, her hair falls on the floor all the time, all over the houses. And the wider the row right here, the less issue I have with her hair. And with this, you can use the vacuum cleaner to vacuum your wood floor, tile floor, or even short carpet floor. On the front right here, you actually have three LED lights that will actually light up that way you can actually vacuum in darker areas and as you can see right here you can swivel it and it will go to any angle you want that way it will allow you to pretty much use this vacuum cleaner and clean your house wherever you want. Next we have the main extension stick and the body of this stick is actually made out of metal so pretty quality stuff. Now the cool thing about this extension stick is check this out guys so right now it is pretty short right all I have to do is actually push this down or up to extend and make this even longer so check this out guys so you can make it double in length just by doing that and you make it shorter anytime guys now this is something actually the Dyson do not have this feature and this feature I can see is very very convenient especially when you want to carry this around with you elsewhere you can simply retract it and it'll become shorter and it'll actually fit into a smaller place and lastly we have the main body of the vacuum cleaner along with a rechargeable 2200 milliamp battery that can last up to 30 35 minutes on one single full charge. So to install the battery onto the main vacuum cleaner, all you have to do is make sure you look at this crevice right here in the middle and insert it where this green line is on the main component of the body and simply slide it in just like that and it will lock into place. Now what I really like about this battery right here is I can simply press the button down here and actually take this battery out and buy a second or third battery and simply put it in here. That way I can double or even triple the cleaning time whenever I want to. That is something I was not able to do with my Dyson vacuum cleaner even though the Dyson is much much more expensive. Inside of this main component right here is where most of your vacuuming is going to be occurring. The filter is also located in here and this is where the five stage filtration is going to be happening and this is also going to be responsible for purifying and putting fresh air into your house. As dirt and debris is vacuumed in here the filter will then purify it and put fresh air all around your house. It is recommended to actually open this component, take the fields out once in a while, wash it, clean it, dry it, and then put it back in before you use it. So to actually take the fields out, all you have to do is press the button on top right here. And what this will do is it'll actually release the entire component as you can see right there. Now you can actually press this button right here to open this portion and then release all of your debris and trash. Now to take the filter out, all you have to do is simply turn the top part right here. So all you have to do is hold this, turn it counterclockwise, and you get access to your filter and everything you need. Simply take it out, pull all the dirt out, clean it, wash it, dry it, and then put it back in here. And then all you have to do is twist it clockwise to lock it back into place. And then all you have to do to put this back into here is look at the bottom, put this into its position at the bottom and simply push it in place and it will lock back just like that. And here it is side by side with the Dyson. As you can see, they are pretty much about the same size. Now to start using the vacuum cleaner and how to control it, there's only one button right here. Press it once to power it on and press it once more to power it off. What I really like about this button right here is compared to most other vacuum cleaner, this vacuum cleaner, you do not have to keep pressing this button down. So to turn it on, all you have to do is press it once and it will stay on until you turn it off. So check this out guys. And whenever we are done cleaning, press this button once more. 
and just like that guys it powers off so the really good thing about that is your muscle is not going to get tired because if you've used other vacuum cleaner before you know that if you have to push this button down the entire time when you are cleaning your muscle starts to get pretty tiring and it starts to feel a little sore and another really cool thing is this actually have two power controls so after you turn the vacuum cleaner on you can press this button right here once to turn it on maximum power and press it once more to turn it down to lower power check this out guys And if you take a closer look on top right here, you actually have four LED light indicators to let you know the status of the battery. If four lights turn on, that means the battery is at 100%. Three LED lights, 75, two 50%, and one 25%. And this is where you insert your power cord to recharge the battery. So when it comes to vacuuming time, you can use this to clean your house, your car, or wherever there is a mess. This has a suction power of 12 kPa. Now you can use this as a handheld vacuum cleaner by simply attaching any head to you want and simply just use it just like that or you can remove this head anytime exchange it for another head by simply insert it just like that now if you want to use bigger cleaning all you have to do is insert this right here snap on like that and last of all if you want to really use its main powerful component is simply insert this and of course last of all put in your brush row and you can simply clean anything you want, guys. Always remember and keep in mind, guys, you can actually extend this by simply sliding it out and it become a full-size vacuum cleaner, totally wireless and portable. So overall with its price tag, I do like it due to its portability and rechargeable battery. I use it to clean my carpet, wood floor, tile floor, and my car as well. And it gets the job done. And best of all guys, it doesn't break the pocket. With all that being said guys, I will leave the link to where I got this in the description box down below. I believe it is on sale. And if you happen to have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you all in the next video.